It's a light heavyweight matchup between Anthony Johnson and Daniel Cormier. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are underway. Good inside leg kick by DC. While well, someone's gotten through, Joe, this shot is blocked. Cormier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Johnson. Looking to avoid that left hand. Blocks the strike. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Johnson. Oh, beautiful straight right. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Well, no surprise here. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by DC. Good shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Hit him hard with that hook. That'll sting. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! The left hook hits home. He blocks the punch. Fainting. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. <laughs> nice jab by Corby. Excellent head movement. Oh, a huge block there. Good kick to the body by DC. Big kick to the head. He's stunned. Fighter. He has. Oh, oh, he hurt him. He hurt him bad. He's got him hurt here. Look at this. Take down. Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. All right, well, he gets back to his feet here, Joe, but he looks like he is in a world of trouble. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Nice punch by Johnson. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Well, you'll see a lot of fighters do this, Joe, as he lands another punch right at that opponent's eye where the cut is. It's a good strategy as he'll try to continue to work on what is starting to be a pretty significant cut. Oh, he got everything behind that kiss. Oh, oh! Oh, you oh, he heard him. So a much different approach 
from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He's got it. Full mount and full back. He's got it again. He's working from half guard now. Mounts again. Cormier's cut on his eyebrow is nasty, Joe. That thing is looking pretty bad at this point. Oh, continues to land those jabs at will. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance. Johnson gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. He's being creative oh. in there. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Big oh, power in that hook. hook. Knockdown, a great round from Cormier. Huge knockdown. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Third and final round. Good defense there. Johnson gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. All right, so another strike to the body there. And Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. He tags him with the left hand. These guys are swinging. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one, two there by Johnson. Johnson's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Nice jab. Leg kick now. How about that shin? Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down to oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's got his back. He transitions to full mount. Very strong with the back mount. Flattens him out. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. And back to the mount. He's mounted. He's got to hang on and keep control of his posture. Got his back again. He's got him flattened out. Two minutes to go in our third and final round. He hip escapes from the full mount. Now he gets the full mount again. It looks like he's trying to set up an arm bar here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. And he's out of the arm bar. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. And he gets out. That was a close guillotine. Half guard. That cut on his cheek is really nasty. They may stop this fight. Johnson gets back up again. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. What a fight! 
is where you need really educated judges. And here's the end. Round one, we can see this kick land with beautiful technique. Round three, good tight defense, but this strike sneaks through. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest by 928. For the winner by unanimous decision, Daniel D.C. All right, so another big win for Daniel Cormier here tonight. It's not always the prettiest thing, but it is certainly effective. He can wrestle. He's got a very opportunistic submission game. The takedown seems to always be there when DC needs to go to it. And I think the fight IQ is really what jumps out of the... Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ready to fight? Ready. Round one. Oh, he connects there. And there's a single attempt. Yeah, look at that takedown, man. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's moved back into side control. Posture's up here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back in the mouth, this is crazy. Right punches there. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Now he gets the full mount again. He takes it back. Now trying to trap an arm. He's free from the arm bar. Good control, posture's up. And he connects there. And out go the lights. Do it. He landed a huge barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Yeah, Joe, a lot of credit to go around here. You've got to credit the winner of the fight for his aggressiveness down the stretch. But as you did, you've also got to credit the referee here. He deemed that the defensive fighter was not intelligently defending himself, and he was in a perilous situation. So what do you do? You step in and prevent any further damage. Nice job there by the referee. And here's where the ref called it. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Daniel DC. It's a light heavyweight matchup between John Jones and Daniel Cormier. You ready? You ready? Let's well, always great to be back in the Pacific time zone. We get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Good to have you with us for a night of UFC action. Nice punch by Jones. Beautiful jab. Jabs off the left and jabs off the right. Sound technique on that kick, Joe. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. And he connects there, Joe. And this is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Tags him with a flush left. Good combination so far from both men. Nice leg kick. Very nice. Whips on the straight right hand. Big kick lands. Some real power shots here. Oh! oh! This could be it. Oh! Beautiful takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. Back up. Watch 
lost the shot here, Joe. Beautiful straight punch there by DC. Caught that oh. one. Oh! He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Oh, he might be out. Misses a huge hook to the head. Both guys landing big shots. There was a huge moment in that round and a huge moment in this fight. Let's take a look at that again. And let's look at that again. Brittany Palmer in the building. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Daniel Cormier is a former Olympic wrestler, a world-class athlete, and an incredibly determined fighter. He has ridiculous hand speed, outstanding skill. Oh! He's got him hurt here. And he just misses with that big right hand. That's it. He's, he's out. out. He's out. Landed a huge kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. We can see it from a different angle here. Look at the power in this roundhouse kick, and when it lands, the fight is done. Check it out here. Oh, man. K.O. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Migliano is going to stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel D.C. All right, so another big win for Daniel Cormier here tonight. It's not... A all right, coming up next, a matchup at 205 pounds between Anthony Johnson and Daniel Cormier. You ready? You ready? Here we go. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Watch the shot here, Joe. Slips the punch. Caught him with a punch. Going to the body there with the right kick. Body shots. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Big right hand. 
Just out of range with that left hook. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice. That's how you defend the single leg. Oh, he's getting tip in that one. There's the leg kick, that one checked by DC. Looking to faint with that punch. Nice inside leg kick there. Oh, strong punch there by DC. Lands a powerful kick. Hard hook. Oh, very nice. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Nice punch there by Cormier. Well, some have got through, Joe. This shot is blocked. He hit him with the hook. Cormier gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. He blocks the punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And he doesn't get it. Daniel Cormier with some outstanding takedown defense. Oh, absolutely, Joe. His takedown defense has been excellent. This is, I don't like this style of fighting. I don't like it. I don't like when a guy holds a guy down. However, it is he's effective. He's defending, he wants to get his hands clasped together. He drops down for it into the guard. He's got the leg over the back. Rolls him over into the mount. Very nicely done. That guillotine is locked in deep. He might be forced to tap any second now. That's and there it. it is. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Daniel D.C. Well, what else can you say about the UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier and still approaching 40 years old and DC still finding a way to get it done? Very opportunistic.